Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So let's take a look at the market right now and let's see what happened during this week so far since I have posted my weekly analysis video. As we can see, first of all, on the Euro USD. The Euro USD actually has reversed perfectly fine. Look at this perfect entry at the same level I have given on uh, 1.2918. I mentioned that we can start shorting the pair from that level and thankfully it has reversed exactly from that level so far and it went so far or actually a total of 100 pips of profit but sadly what's happening right now is the euro usd is actually changing the direction and supported by the weakness of the usd dollar the euro usd right now is rising so this signal now has to be changed uh, we have made actually actually 100 pips, pips of profit. I should have actually said uh, that the, target, the take profit should be right here instead of the support. But whatever, uh, what happened has happened. So what is next with the Euro USD? If I'm not mistaken, the Euro USD actually right now. And remember, guys, we are on the four hour time frame. The Euro USD most likely is going to reverse again from the sa exact same level I have given. But however, the target this time is going to be changed because we are right, right now going to start buying the Euro USD. As I said before, the DXY index currency is getting weaker and therefore the Euro USD is actually going to continue the rise. What we are expecting now is another pullback to retest or revisit actually this support level right here and from that point the euro usd is going to be valid again to the buy now if we look here at the if we use the fibonacci retracement on the fibonacci retracement as we can see where have let me just delete the stake profit level right now we can see on fibonacci 23.6 that we had right here a strong a very strong key support level however the fibonacci retracement is giving me the approximate level where the price might actually reverse but i personally gonna select this level exactly right here exactly right here to start actually buying the pair the reason is i trust my strategy and I know that this, this is the bullish breakout candle and the nearest support to this bullish breakout candle is laying exactly right here at the bottom of this tail on this candle. That being said, we have to wait for the pair to, to make us another pullback for about 22 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So therefore, let me just drag this line right here. Uh, almost right here, I would say. Yes, perfect. And drag this one here as well. Uh, yes, it should be like this uh, This one just like this perfect. So right now this one here is gonna be changed from the sell to the buy at the level of 1.20613 This is where we are actually gonna buy the uh, pound USD sorry the euro USD and of course if in case we started buying from that level Let's identify where we can expect that rate to continue uh, or to keep uh, rising now of course since we are expecting from the market to rise we cannot expect from it to rise forever we have to identify the levels where we can expect from the pair to continue the rise so therefore if i'm not mistaken and uh, for the safest option is going to be 61.8 the fibonacci retracement 61.8 is going to be the level where the price definitely going to eventually reach and after that we really don't know what will gonna happen if the euro usd is gonna continue to rise or actually gonna reverse as long as we have the safest option that we are sure that the euro usd is definitely gonna revisit fibonacci 61.8 since we are expecting the rise so if we started buying the euro usd from that point we can expect to make about 86 pips profit from this trade meanwhile the stop loss or the safe range or the safe zone actually is going to be ranging for about 50 or 51 pips which is really fair enough that being said the take profit level is going to be 1.21465 the reason is i'm selecting this near take profit level is first of all it is more safe second of all i don't want to do the same mistake when i started shorting the uh, euro usd and it has reversed exactly from that point right here and uh, therefore i missed a good uh, take profit level so i have selected this the lowest uh, the low uh, the lower low right here as a take profit level but but actually i should have selected this support right here as my take profit so uh there goes your signal for the euro usd and i hope this is going to continue to be another very good and successful week for everyone let's now take a look at the pound usd 
So regarding the pound USD, the pound USD actually has reversed uh, inside the safe zone and eventually went deep in the profit and it went actually in total of almost I would say 100 uh, pips of profit as well, same like the Euro USD. However, uh, what's happening right here now is very similar to the Euro USD. The pair actually has made here a strong bullish momentum and what we can see right here is that the pound USD is reversing also from the same level I have given for the short. However, what is happening right now is only a retest of the broken resistance right here. Remember, I'm on the four hour time frame. So let's go to the one hour time frame. And we can see clearly that we had right here a resistance level. Exactly right here. And the market is exactly right here. Uh, and the market actually has made the bullish breakout from that level and uh, you pound USD under the pressure from this zone is now uh, right now retesting that bro the broken resistance is actually now making a pullback on the one hour time frame and after that and supported by this uh, strong support zone or support level the pound USD is actually going to continue the rise so therefore uh, the signal for the sell has to be changed actually to be now another buy but however let me just go back to the four hour time frame to identify the exact level where we can start buying now on the four hour time frame as i as i mentioned before this is the bullish breakout candle from the resistance and as you know guys this is what i'm saying always if you want to start buying after the bullish breakout candle you need to start buying at the exact level of the top of the nearest wick to the bullish breakout candle that being said, this is exactly going to be the level where we are going to start buying the pair again. We have to wait for the pair to fall for another 27 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So let me just drag the buy order just like that. That's perfectly fine. And this is going to be our level to start buying the pound USD. Let me drag also the safe zone just like this and this one here like that. So uh, the buy should be placed exactly at 1.39312 uh, this is where we will buy the pair and for the take profit level of course it has to be at the previous support right here because if i'm not mistaken this is fibonacci 61.8 if i'm not mistaken i didn't check it before let me check right now if i'm not mistaken almost yes it's almost at fibonacci 61.8 so therefore this is going to be the level where where actually we desire to take the profit so we are looking for about I will say about 150 pips of profit. So the take profit 1.40815. There goes your signal for the pound USD. And again, I hope it's going to continue to be a very good week and giving us a lot of profits. Now let's look at the AUD USD signal, which sadly hasn't worked at all as I have predicted, which is of course very normal and fine. You cannot get good them all, of course, right? So what's happening next? Now, actually, if we look at the um, AUD USD, let me just delete the old signal. <clears throat> now, let's analyze what's happening right now on the AUD USD. So, first of all, if we look at the left, we can see right here we had here a strong resistance zone, exactly like that. Right now, the market is above this resistance zone. So, what we can expect next? We can look here. Okay, we can also look right here, and we can see that we also had here. A very strong support zone as well so that means that the market actually supported by the weakness of the USD dollar has actually <clears throat> made the rise above this broken resistance level we can see that this uh, this, this resistance actually has been lasting for a long time uh, since December the market has been trying to break out from that resistance and eventually the market actually has made the breakout just last month and we can see right here what seems like a fake breakout uh, from that support level, from that broken resistance level. The market immediately, after retest, trying to retest the broken resistance, remember that this was supposed to be retesting for the resistance. So the market actually was supposed to, supposed to reverse and fall from that point. But with that strong bullish momentum and the weakness of the USD dollar itself, it seems that the AUD USD is actually going to continue the rise. I really don't think the pound, the, sorry, I don't think the AUD USD is actually going to fall at this point. So therefore, we have to look for the uh, buy order for the AUD USD. That being said, let's draw here a Fibonacci retracement. 
so we can tell where we can start actually buying the pair again now as per the Fibonacci retracement we can start buying the pair right here at the previous uh, resistance right here which was actually a Fibonacci retracement uh, 50 on Fibonacci so therefore let's trust the Fibonacci retracement so therefore we're going to actually I forgot to highlight it I think I'm gonna just increase it a little bit more exactly like this uh, let me just go to the one hour time frame yes exactly look at that check that out check this out the market has actually on the one hour time frame we can see that the pair has actually already retested that broken uh, resistance level with a sim with a single attempt of support number one and again with this strong bullish momentum I really don't even think that the market gonna fall to create a support number two so what we can do let me just now look ma and uh, analyze it manually and just by that I can tell right, right here by seeing this support by this uh, seeing the spin bar right here and we can see that the exact same level was a strong key resistance level as well uh, we can expect from the AUD USD to fall only a little bit more just to retest the broken uh, sub, uh, resistance and then after that the pair is going to continue the rise uh, there is a high probability that the market actually might continue the rise immediately right away without even revisiting that support level however and for the safety of our members and our followers i'm going to select this level to be uh, uh, to give the signal to, that we can start actually buying the AUD USD on it so 0 0.7805 Five, eight is gonna be the level where we will start buying the AUD USD and of course for the safe zone should be just ranging a little bit here below Fibonacci 50 so we are talking about 40 pips and we can increase it a little bit, a bit more and exactly that's totally fine 49 or 50 pips which is really fair enough exactly like that and for the tech profit level it's gonna be of course as before right here on this Fibonacci 23.6 and we can expect from the pair to rise for another 93 pips which is uh, very convenient so the take profit level is 0 0.78090 guys if you think that I'm I, I sound tired or exhausted it's uh, somehow correct and actually to be honest with you I'm very sleepy um, it's right now 11.53 p.m. here Dubai time and to be honest I just need to release this video before going to sleep so therefore um, I really hope uh, it's gonna be also a very good signal and hopefully it will bring us lots of profits USD CAD USD CAD was also one of the signals that actually hasn't worked or didn't work uh, at all and uh, really sorry about, about that but as I said before you really can get them all so what's gonna happen next with the USD CAD let me just get rid of the old signal and let's analyze what's happening right now for with the pair right now as we can see on the four hour time frame it's very easy to be honest that we had we had right here a previous support level and we had also a resistance with uh, multiple attempts to break out from that resistance now pay attention to the behavior of the market when you when the market actually had this resistance right here and it was lasting for a long time what happened is we had a very strong bullish candle or breakout uh, bullish breakout candle right now what happened is the market actually has one single attempt of support number one remember it was one only one single attempt only and what happened next is on the what's supposed to be a second attempt of support number two the market actually has made a strong bearish breakout candle by the way this candle right here and this is what I'm saying to all my students and all followers on the group or on the channel this candle right here represents a continuation in the bearish breakout meaning the market actually uh, uh, gonna uh, make uh, just a small pullback to revisit that previous resistance and the market actually gonna continue the fall right away once you see this candle you can be sure about 90% that your prediction is going to be accurate and the market is actually going to continue the fall. The very same candle, we can see it right here. The very same candle is just upside down. 
when you see a bullish breakout candle with a very tiny small tail at its bottom and short wick at its top it means usually a continuation that's actually the 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 signal that i really like and i trust it a lot and if we can see right here again it happened the very same candle has appeared right here and as we can see the market has indeed resumed falling right after the appearance of this candle that's why i'm saying that the usd cad seems like it's gonna actually continue the fall and to be honest with you i really doubt that the usd cad is actually gonna rise to this level most likely the usd cad is actually going to continue the fall immediately without even retesting the broken level but however as i said before for the safety of our followers i have to mention that we have to wait for the market to retest that level on 1.264 to um one two six four two four yes correct <clears throat> and of course for the safe zone should be ranging a little bit above that resistance so we are talking about 58 pips um, on the safe zone and for the take profit level this time i'm gonna make it right here till this previous resistance and that's only to be safe exactly what happened with the euro usd so we are looking for about 121 pips hopefully gonna be a very good profit so 1.25221 is gonna be our guy and hopefully we will make some good profits with the usd cad upon this signal usd gpy usd gpy signal actually is still rising and this the pair hasn't actually yet uh, reached our level but however i believe with this with the weakness on the, of this candle on the daily chart i believe that we can witness on wednesday or thursday the market is actually gonna fall and gonna be uh, triggering our buy order and i believe the valid uh, the setup for the usd gpy is actually still valid and actually it makes more sense right now more than ever remember guys when uh, remember what i told you before this is what i'm teaching actually on my channel when you have here a resistance trend line and the market actually make the breakout from that resistance trend line the market is going to reverse at the same level of the nearest resistance the nearest resistance sorry and after that it's going to retest the broken level and if it succeeded to retest after that it's actually going to continue the rise this is how the market behaves and you can backtest it if you want on all the history of the charts and you can see that it actually works almost all of the time so therefore usd gpy signal is still valid and we will not change anything on it usd chf usd chf has reached the take profit level but sadly it didn't trigger our entry level for the buy the pair actually has uh, continued resumed rise continued the rise and draws all the way to the take profit level and look at that that was really perfect the pair actually has the first exactly at the same level which was the take profit so let's see what's actually waiting for us on the usd chf what we can do next on the pair actually um remember guys it is almost it's not almost it is actually right now 12 p.m here dubai time and after one hour actually two hours sorry as um as per the uh, indicator I have here, the CCTR, uh, still two hours for the uh, closure of the candle. But however, it seems to me that the candle is actually gonna close as a pin bar. And if that happens, we can start for look at we can look for shorting the USDCHF almost right away. We can expect from the USDCHF to rise a little bit more, only about I would say I don't know 18 or 20 pips only before it's gonna be our in our favor but however most likely with this strong bearish momentum seems to me that the uccchf is actually gonna be good for the short right away so sell now for the uccchf at 0 0.91397 and let me just mark it so we can tell that the pair actually was right here almost right here so this is my expectation for the USDCHF that we can start actually shorting it right away and it's all right if you see the pair actually go a little bit only against your direction so maybe for 55 pips but i think i really doubt it i mean maybe the USDCHF is just gonna go about 20 21 pips only against your uh, trade before it's gonna be finally in profit so if we started shorting the USDCHF right here then the target is gonna be the exact same level 
where we have placed our previous buy order so we are looking to make about 111 pips from this signal so the take profit level is gonna be 0 0.90264 and of course let me just draw for you the shape of the safe zone and there goes your signal for the uccchf and i really hope also it's gonna be a very good one and bring us lots of profits let's take a look right now at the gold so for the gold actually it was really one perfect signal and as we can see the gold has reversed exactly from the same level i have given where is it here it is i told you we can start shorting the gold at 1754.93 and look at this perfection i'm very happy and very proud about my signal for the gold and as we can see the pair actually has went in total of for almost 500 pips guys i mean 477 pips i really hope everyone have taken this signal i mean even if you are still holding your position um you are still making about 180 pips profit from the signal which is really fantastic but are we going to still sh keep shorting the gold actually in the beginning i thought yes we can we can continue shorting the gold but however after seeing this strong bullish candle, I believe right now the gold is going to be better for the buy. Uh, let me just show you something here. The gold actually has reversed exactly from that support level right here, exactly from this one at 1706. Uh, the gold was expected actually to continue the fall all the, all the way to break the uh, long term uh, zone or, or the price of 1700 and go below that to the 1600 level. However, the gold actually has so, has shown some strength and supported by the weakness of the USD dollar currency index. It seems like with this strong uh, bullish candle that the gold is actually going to continue the rise, but for not not for so long time. Not for so long time. I believe that the gold right now is going to actually revisit again the same level where we have started shorting it. And after that, we don't know what will gonna happen. Most likely, the gold is getting for ready for another rally to start or actually to create a resistance number two. But however, if we go to the one hour time frame, we can notice right here, if we draw here a Fibonacci retracement, that the pair actually is trying to break out from Fibonacci 61.8. So far, the gold wasn't able to break out of it. And if it does, or actually if it did, it will continue to rise all the way to hit the same level of that resistance number one and it's gonna create a resistance number two so in short words Salah what are we supposed to do with the gold um what you are supposed to do with the gold is wait for the gold to create another pullback so let me just go to the four hour time frame and delete Fibonacci retracement and let me show you guys that we can start again buying the gold exactly from that level so we have to wait for the gold to fall for another about 100 pips and from that zone we can start buying the pair again and look for about 332 pips of profit so therefore uh, sorry uh, gold is going to be for the buy at 1726.60 fair enough and the safe zone is actually going to range be ranging just right here uh, exactly right here yes till this support level so we're talking about 100 pips only of the safe zone meanwhile let me just draw for you the safe zone meanwhile the take profit level is going to be the peak of the resistance right here at 1758 right 1000 oh sorry sorry 1758 perfect that's going to be actually a better level to start to keep our uh, profits so therefore we are looking for approximately 310 pips of profit so there goes your uh, remaining signals for this week and i want to remind everyone that of course these signals are not guaranteed to be profitable at all you are trading um, on your own risk sorry you are risking your money um, on your own uh, responsibility and you are responsible for your funds and how you are uh, trading prepare for the losses always and expect uh, the trade to fail don't be shocked when the trade has failed because you are a trader meaning you are an investor you are investing so when you are placing here the buy order 
what you are doing is you are investing. So I have you ever heard about someone opening a new project without having investments? That's impossible. That's cannot that cannot be. So when you are actually buying the gold right here, you have become an investor. The investor will, will invest about, let's say, $200 on this deal. So now it's going to be a win or loss. There is no other third option. Maybe break even, but I mean, in, in general, it's only going to uh, be a profitable one. It's going to be a profitable investment or a bad investment. You always have to prepare for the losses and don't ever get greedy and prepare also for a limited amount of profits. And uh, again, don't ever get greedy. So in the end, I again, as I said before, I hope it's going to be a very profitable and good week for everyone. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.